hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Laura sorry if you can hear the jackhammering in the background I make lifestyle videos about living my life here in New York City would love if you could stick around and subscribe down below it's a random evening right and I'm like I wanted to share with you guys if you've watched my last vlog you would have known that I've been kind of MIA with YouTube doing a little fall refresh if you will we got lots of shoes sweaters all the good stuff I am so excited to show you guys what I got because it's a pretty decent amount of clothing items. I've been doing a little bit of shopping here and there. There is a reason, but uh, we're not gonna go into that right now. I am going to film a life update video for you guys, but that light right there is bothering me. First starting off, I actually have had these shoes for like a couple weeks now, but they are Adidas NMD sneakers. They are kind of like almost like a neon butter yellow in a way. Leo actually bought these for me as a gift and I love them, but I wanted to show you guys just because I want to share with you like what's new out on the market, you know? So next is just like a little random thing that I found on Poshmark. So I had been seeing a lot of girls wearing like pencil skirt, denim skirts, and I found this one on Poshmark and it's from Zara. And I just think it's really a cool piece. I don't know. I feel like I will have this in my wardrobe forever. And I like to shop on Poshmark. It's fun. It's like online thrifting. So I placed an order on Lulu's because last weekend I had a wedding to go to. And then I have another wedding to go to in two weeks. So I needed to get a bunch of dresses just because I wanted to try a couple on. And I needed more than one because I had to go to a rehearsal dinner. Whatever. So I will insert the pictures of the two dresses that I got. I also will grab the other dress. If you saw in the photo, I was wearing like a blue dress and it had tears to it. And I'm really into that lately. I think it's so elegant and classy. So I ended up getting this emerald green dress and it has the same tiered fabric. And this one just fits like a glove and I love the neckline on it. And Lulu's is just really great for like wedding guest dresses. So highly recommend, really good, love that. I'm gonna be wearing this one for that wedding that's coming up in two weeks. So then I also picked up on Lulu's, they also have really great shoes, love them. And I picked up these suede booties and they're almost like a Western style. I don't have any suede booties in my closet right now. I have more like leather, and I just thought these were a nice little addition. They're more casual, and the heel height's really good. They're very comfortable, easy to walk in, and love them. So that is Lulu's. Okay, so next from Mango, I bought this trench coat. So a while back, I bought one from H&M, and it was just too big on me. And the same with this one, I have to return it. So this is a small. For some reason I thought Mango ran smaller, so that's why I got a size small. But the arms are too big on me, so I think with a trench coat I need to get a size petite. Otherwise it just like looks like it's swallowing me up, especially because it's so long, like it's past my knees. And I just don't want it to look stupidly oversized, if that makes sense. But this is a really great coat, super well made. And of course they're sold out in the smaller size, so whatever. The whole reason that I even placed the mango order is obviously I needed a trench coat, but these boots, I love. I saw these on Instagram and I bought them right away because I knew that they were gonna sell out so quickly because this lug sole bottom is super trendy for this fall season so I love that there's like an elastic there so it makes it like kind of more casual I just think these are like the coolest boots ever they're gonna match everything and I don't have to buy like a nude pair like I think the contrast is really great so love these they're sold out now but maybe I'll try to link them down below if they're in stock but I knew by the time that I received these in the mail that they'd be sold out. You can just tell when something's good. I also went to H&M. I know this kind of sounds like a lot, but this is like a month worth of clothing shopping. So I love H&M, it's my favorite place. So I bought these just medium wash jeans, super simple. They're like a boot cut, straight leg. I just love the wash of these. They are perfect and they're high waisted and I just think they're perfect for fall, so had to get those a lot of my jeans are like lighter wash so i needed to get some darker ones for fall and then i also picked up these flats they are like kind of like a quilted pattern with like a sage green color but i'm actually going to return these because there's just no need for them in my closet so 
that's that so now moving on to forever 21 i think i had to return something and of course a return is never just a return for me it's always an exchange i went and picked up this little seamless cropped long sleeve so i thought this was really cool because obviously it's like material for working out in i also thought it would be cute for like going out in because it's like that seamless material nicer than like normal cotton thought this would look cool with like jeans or leather pants and then i also picked up this gray sweater it's like a mock neck sweater and it's really long which i kind of like i don't know i just think this with like jeans and boots really cute simple easy outfit for fall just throw it on. Love a good gray sweater. Gray is like my favorite color to wear. Oh, this is also another sweater I got from H&M. To my point of saying that I love a good gray sweater. This one, I don't know if I should keep. I'm not sure. I thought it would be really cute with these jeans like tucked in with the flats. Like that was the outfit that I was envisioning, but I don't have anywhere to wear this anymore, so. So last thing from Forever 21, you're gonna see this and be like, what the heck, ew, that's ugly and disgusting. Like, what are you, like Little House on the Prairie? So I love this dress, like I love the pattern. It's like a simple little ditzy floral pattern. It has a slit and the fit of it is like so perfect. Now I wasn't crazy about the sleeves, not even gonna lie. And there's like puckering right here. So it's like really super like Little House on the Prairie. So I don't like the sleeves, right? But then, I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it and pair it with a leather jacket. And I think like with leather, like chunky boots would be so cool. So I tried it on when I got home with this leather, this crop leather jacket and I'm obsessed. And I just think it's like a super cool girl look. And even though it's a super feminine dainty dress and like conservative, I think this just like dresses it up so nicely. And especially with like the slit, I would pair these shoes with it just to make it like super edgy. I just love it. I think it's such a cute look. You could also wear like white sneakers with this. So cute. Just wanted to share with you like what I've been picking up at the stores lately. I love to go shopping. So obviously I'm always constantly refreshing my wardrobe. Probably a bit too much. My wallet would say that, but it's all right. Hey guys, I just want to pause the vlog here to let you know about a brand that I'm working with called Ana Luisa. I have been wearing these jewelry pieces in a lot of my vlogs and some of you guys have commented saying how pretty they are, but I finally wanted to share with you guys. These jewelry pieces are made from recycled materials when possible and it is honestly the best quality ever. So they are also made in New York, which I'm always trying to support whenever I can. First, starting off, we have these earrings. These are called the Rocks earrings, and I just think that the shape of these are so unique. I love them so much, and I wear them constantly. These are like a perfect everyday earring, and it's something different than your normal hoop because it is a different shape. So, have been loving these. They don't bother my ears. They are really great quality cannot say enough good things next i have this necklace and it caught my eye the second i saw it on the website it's called the Mish necklace and it has this really nice green stone right there so i'm actually a leo my birthday's in august and this is like my birthstone so i thought that was nice and i also just love the chain detail here it's something different i love that it's longer and i can layer it with other necklaces that i have in my collection this is a really great one for layering I am a huge fan of this one and it just adds a little something. I wear this again with like any outfit all of these pieces go with. And then last is this rope ring which I've always wanted to add to my collection. It is super pretty. It's like the perfect thickness. It's not too like bulky and it's just really again great quality like if you feel it it's like it has weight to it but it's just really incredible. So I will leave all the details down below if you're interested in checking them out. I will also leave a discount code here if you want to use my code. And let's get back to the vlog. Hey guys, it's Friday and just wanted to jump on here because I didn't vlog anything after doing that haul yesterday. I have been going through it. Like my life has been insane lately. And I do want to film an updated what's going on in my life, but for legal reasons, I'm not going to right now. Just here at Drinking a Seltzer, I ate some lunch 
I went grocery shopping today. But I'm just gonna start the weekend vlog off here now. So I was looking at my analytics on YouTube and I decided I'm not doing dedicated videos anymore. Like it's not happening unless it's like Unless it's somehow vlog related and like chatty, whether it be like a get ready with me or something, I'm just not doing it because the dedicated videos do not do well on my channel and I don't like filming them anyway. I actually hate to film them. So with that being said, I'm not doing that anymore because normally when I say things on here, I try to follow through with them. Like when I was complaining about my camera being broken, I immediately went and got it fixed because there's just nothing more annoying than somebody complaining about something and just not making a change or doing anything about it. You know what I mean? So as you guys know, I've been reading this emotional entrepreneur book and this book can honestly go for anyone who's like not even looking to be an entrepreneur. I just am reading it for the sole fact of like how to deal with your emotions in business. That's kind of what I take from it. But I wanted to show you guys because what I'm talking about right now, it says, I hope this doesn't come up backwards, but it says, the moment you stop blaming your life circumstances on external factors is the moment you start molding a future that is aligned with your true desires. So I read that last night and it hit me like a ton of bricks. Such good advice, like all the things in this book, like I just really am enjoying it. So loving that. I'm looking to my list because I like to have a list for my vlogs when random ideas pop up in my head. So one thing I wrote down here is, I think it's another quote from this book actually. It says, see failure as a growth opportunity. So like that is one of the major things that I've been kind of following in my life is every time there's a failure, which has been pretty often. <laughs> you can only grow from your failures and been journaling a lot lately and I just feel like writing everything out is just so cathartic for me and especially a lot of times like I don't even have a prompt of what I journal about and I've been journaling for like five years now, like every single day. I make time for it because also I have a lot of anxiety and I feel like it just helps me like write about my life and like what I have going on. I don't know why, but I feel like it's just really helped. And even if it's just listing out what I did yesterday and what I'm doing today, it just like kind of just, you know, gets it all flowing in your brain. I mean, sometimes I will have prompts of like, things that I'm grateful for, like if I'm feeling like that, that specific day, but it's really just whatever comes to mind. I will bring you guys along for this weekend. Don't have any plans this weekend. I have to make a return down in Soho. I have to return that trench coat to Mango. I'm going to be hanging out with Leo this weekend, but we both said that we kind of just want to be super relaxed, not do much because we had a really long weekend last weekend. We were out of town at a wedding and then next weekend next weekend or two weekends from now we have another wedding to go to so we're just trying to be like you know low-key not much going on I just don't know how to feel about it. It's just not for me. I have mainly like gold accents in my apartment and the silver legs on the chair just like really just don't do it for me. So I ended up 
wanting to process a return and i was like you know what it's a light chair i'll just put it back in the box and like lug it to a fedex around here it's not a big deal it's more so like a really bulky box if you can see it's like you know it's a big box back there anyway so i'm processing the return and i said it was damaged because it's an adjustable seat and i adjusted it to the highest setting and it won't go any lower so i processed the return as like a damaged piece because obviously it's like stuck in one position and they said to keep it and they're giving me a refund is that insane so like now i'm like well might as well use it okay this is my quick little lunch this is just avocado on a piece of dave's killer bread with some egg salad on top I honestly use the smallest bit of mayo just because I don't want it to be like fattening or whatever, but I also topped it with salt, pepper, and everything but the bagel seasoning. Sorry if this is disgusting to you, but it's pretty good to me. <laughs> also, about to read this book soon. I ended up finding this at a thrift store and it was like six bucks, so very happy about that. Okay guys, I made my coffee to go. If you know, you know, I always reuse my Starbucks cups and I got my hands on this creamer. You guys know I love this creamer if you watch my videos regularly. However, if you follow me on Instagram, I like had this huge ordeal about how I couldn't find this anywhere. And so many people responded to me saying they couldn't find it either. This is their favorite creamer. And where was I when I found, oh, randomly I went into the grocery store and I saw it. So at all times, I'm gonna try to have two on hand. I don't have that right now, but every time I see it in the store, I have to pick it up because I tried the oat version of this one and it was okay, but it's just like not the same. So I need to have a word with silk and they like need to be on top of their replenishment of stocking at these grocery stores because we're all struggling here. I'm gonna say this again. If anyone knows anyone at silk and can put me in touch with them, I would highly appreciate it. Oh my God. And I just threw it on the floor. Every last drop is so important. It just slipped right out of my hand. Okay, great. You know, this is great. I'm also packing in my bag this heavy box. I bought this from Target yesterday. It's a pumpkin bread mix. So it's like the Libby's brand and there's a whole can of pumpkin in here. So I think I'm gonna make this when I go to Leo's later. I'm making those kava bowls. They're like Mediterranean bowls. I literally always post about them so i'm probably not going to be filming me cooking that later because that's all my channel is it's so stupid bowls but we love them i'll probably just show you like the finished product but this should be interesting and ironically i was looking at the nutrition facts and it's really not that bad for you so we'll see how it goes i'll show you guys my outfit carefully put this back away i've just been wearing my hair in these clips because i don't feel like doing my hair i don't feel like straightening it or, like putting heat on it so that's that all right We'll show you guys my outfit this chair is like i just don't know it's actually very comfortable but just wearing leggings which like normally i don't like to wear i just like prefer jeans but i feel like being comfortable today i'm just wearing this little t-shirt from tj maxx this denim jacket honestly no idea where it's from it's just a black denim jacket whoa oh <laughs> and my nike blazers so hopefully they don't give me blisters we'll see but just a cozy comfy day not doing much just running some errands not going out to eat or anything so got to keep it simple last thing that i wanted to share with you guys so i try not to collect things because a couple years ago i had an extensive mug collection and they stopped bringing me joy and basically were just clutter at a certain point so i'm like okay i'm not gonna do this anymore i only want to keep things that like bring me joy and I just don't want to have like a collection of things especially because I live in New York there's like limited space and I can't like bring things with like moving like things just like become less important in a sense all right so this one specific mug I got this from work like someone I don't know like someone left it we were like cleaning out our office and someone randomly left this mug and I thought it was like the cutest little vintage looking mug and I went into Goodwill yesterday like for no apparent reason just like browse around sometimes I like to look at what they have for like home stuff and see if I can ever find anything to like decorate my place because obviously we know I'm indecisive and if I buy something that's like two dollars and end up like not liking it it's not a big deal so I was browsing and I saw this cute mug and it's like this floral pattern I was like oh my god that will match mug that I already have 
So I placed them on my bar car and I just think it looks so cute. It's like cute little vintage and they had two of these but I was like no I'm just gonna get one and I don't know I just think it looks so cute and girly. And then I was like oh I'll just drink like espresso out of it because it is a smaller mug but like whatever you know. It's cute. It was only a dollar. Okay my bag is packed. Have my coffee. I have to go take this big box down. <laughs> Get a little knock on the Tommy. <laughs> I don't think you made it big enough. Doesn't look so bad. Twelve out of ten. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you, I got a PR package from Liquid IV. I'm always talking about them on my channel. And if it wasn't for you guys buying the Liquid IV through my little discount code, I wouldn't be on the PR list. So thank you guys so much. This honestly makes my day. They just launched their new flavors in Walmart and sent this PR package over. Pina Colada is my favorite flavor at the moment. It's so good. And then they also have this golden cherry flavor as well. Reusable water bottle, so cute. Can't wait to use that. And then also some Band-Aids, how cute. If you ever buy anything through my links or anything, I really appreciate it. And this is just like so cool to me. I sometimes forget to post when I do get packages on YouTube. I normally post on my Instagram, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Every little bit goes a long way and I don't make any money off of the code that I provide. It's just like strictly because I promote this on my channel. So thank you guys. Mm -hmm.